Why did it shrink? Why did it stretch so much? Maybe we've all been there. You open the washing machine and your beloved wool sweater is a disaster. Shrunk to a doll size or stretch it out by a whole size. We often blame ourselves for choosing a wrong cycle. But the truth is the wool cycle might be missing a crucial label – superwash only. In this snippet from my weekly as a note, I will share essential information, especially for beginner knitters, explaining which knitted wool garments can be machine washed and which need a gentle hand washing. If only I knew this before ruining my wool sweater. This is my first and most beloved mellow mood sweater, but one fateful laundry day it decided to become a shrunken, felted disaster. This is how it should look and this is how it actually looks now. Why did that happen? I washed it in the washing machine on a wool cycle. Uh, why not? I thought, this is a wool, this is a wool cycle, so what's the problem? The problem is, I knitted it with regular non-superwash wool yarn and didn't pay attention to care instructions. Big mistake. Here's the crucial point. The regular wool, the type we most commonly use, cannot be washed in a washing machine, even on wool cycle or delicate cycle. Ok, how you can recognize this wool yarn? The yarn label won't say superwash. Next up, I bought some incredibly soft, extra fine merino wool yarn. It was pleasant to touch, not itchy at all, but the texture was unusual. Superwash it said. Great, but superwash tells me nothing. Perhaps they wash it. Who knows? I needed a swatch and was shocked to see it nearly double in size after wet blocking. Still, I decided to knit the Wicking Glow sweater in my usual size S. And guess what? I had to shorten the sleeves and body by about 15 cm after washing and blocking. Why did that happen? Superwash wool yarn is known by being very stretchy due to its special treatment. Surprise! When choosing yarn for your next project, consider not only yarn weight, color and composition, but also whether it's superwash or non-superwash. Superwash wool yarn is chemically treated to be machine washable and incredibly soft, making it a dream for those who dislike itchy wool sweaters. However, it's highly elastic, so watch out for potential stretching. Remember, never use fabric softener with superwash wool yarn. It's already received a plenty of treatment and the fabric softener might ruin it. Non-superwash wool yarn, on the other hand, is more traditional wool yarn you might be familiar with. While not machine washable, it's generally more forgiving. A little uneven tension here and there, no one will notice with regular wool yarn. So, the verdict. It truly depends on your priorities. I personally love the softness of superwash wool yarn and with a few tricks like swatching, live lines and adjusting the length after wet blocking I can manage the stretching. However, if you are a beginner, non-superwash might be a better choice, especially if you are comfortable hand washing your knitwear. To simplify your yarn choice, I've created free yarn guides for worsted and iron weight yarn, each featuring over 20 different yarns. These guides include popular yarns and by tapping the yarn name you will be redirected to the store. For yarns like Drops you can find local sellers by moving to the Find the Store section and typing your country. Download these free guides on my website tesenik.com in the goodies section. And if you would like more knitting tips and insights like those in this video, subscribe to my essay notes. Thank you for joining me today and if this video was helpful, please let me know with a thumbs up. See you in the next essay note.